So I was just at my local dollar store the other day, scouring their toy section, and I stumble upon this action figure. A spooky-looking Chad, from Final Faction, that has the ability to terrorize any insane being that comes into its path, something that I, I found to be the perfect addition to the diorama I was inspired to do for this video. I will also be adding several Mega Constructs figure to go along with the diorama. These are one of the Tyrones of the Halo universe. After putting all the figures aside, I then began to work on the diorama by using the square block of Syrofoam as the main foundation of the base. I am also going to add two of these dollar store battery operated tea lights candles for some added effect. I then cut holes on side of the styrofoam block in the shape that would fit the light candles. After some test of snuggle fit, I then applied a very crucial step by using a mixture of Mod Podge and a layer of PVA glue to the base to ensure its durability and shield it from potential damage caused by moisture or external elements. I then utilized a homemade mold left over from a prior project and then integrated these as fragmented rock pieces into distinct areas of the terrain. After allowing the rocks to secure, I then proceeded to blend a fresh batch of plaster, sand, and water. This mixture was then employed to cover the base section of the terrain. While allowing the plaster to settle, I began customizing Chad the monster red body with some black paint and then put it again to the side to dry. In one of my past video, I crafted a sturdy base stand for my mega figure using dried coffee grounds as the primary ingredient. Today, to bring a touch of uniqueness to the base, I'll be revisiting the creative method by using a fresh batch of dried coffee grounds and black paint mixed together. By keeping things tidy, and to avoid any potential mess, I took precautions by using masking tape to cover the sides of the base. Now, I'll delicately pour the coffee ground mixture into the corners of the diorama, ensuring a neat and controlled application. I persist in patting down the coffee grounds onto the base, concurrently applying a continuous spray of Mod Podge off camera, allowing it to dry, with much open air outside, as much as possible. Following approximately two days of exposure to sunlight and air, the coffee grounds are now prepared. The prominently visible cracks are intentionally sought after, as they enhance the diorama's eerie effect, creating a more captivating and frightening aesthetic. Now, it's time to peel away the tape, and proceed to the next step in our diorama building journey by painting the remaining portions of the base and give it some more extra detail. After applying much needed glue, I incorporated real mini pebbles as tiny rocks, delicately scattering them at the foot of the rock faces in positions where they would naturally accumulate. Once the glue has set, and the miniature rocks are firmly in position. It is time to cover the base with paint. I've opted to apply a subtle brown tone for the paint, as I believe it's a suitable color for creating an eerie atmosphere without making the environment overly aggressive in appearance. After the initial layer has dried, the next step involves applying a darker tone of paint to random sections on the base. To infuse a vibrant color, 
I applied dry brushing techniques to highlight the raised details, using white paint this time. Now that we are done with the base painting, here is what my diorama looks like. However, we are not done yet. So, let's breathe some life into this diorama. The next step involves adding a touch of character with green grass, and a mixture of some weathered yellow grass in this specific patch. This will inject a subtle contrast, bringing vibrancy to the scene. After enough drying time had passed, I tested both the tea lights, making sure that they are still working. I then proceed to work on them by placing balls of cotton to cover the tea lights, delicately separating the strands to craft the illusion of a smoke effect. Let's test to see how these works. Now that we are about finished with this project, I pulled this big monster once again and added a few extra paint detail. Now that I am satisfied with the result, it is time to wrap things up and to happily call it a day. Before concluding this video, I want to share some exciting news that I've recently set up a Patreon account. You can find the link in the description and comments section below. While my subscriber count is still modest, I'm optimistic about the future growth of this channel. Your support in this early stage would mean a lot to me. Thank you, everyone. Have a fantastic Halloween, and I look forward to reconnecting with you in the next one.